Hey guys, it's Denise. This time we're going to be knitting flowers. As always, I suggest you watch the video completely before you start the project. You need a small loom, some scrap yarn, your loom hook, your stitch marker or bobby pin, and a pair of scissors. All right, let's begin. We're going to be using the drawstring cast on, and the first thing we're gonna do is to secure the working yarn to the anchor peg. Take the working yarn and zigzag in and out of the pegs around the entire loom. Now take the working yarn and place it loosely over the pegs and you're going to knit off every peg that has two loops. Okay, you'll see here where there are two loops and this one only has one. So you knit those off, leave the other one and go to the next one. Until you come back around, that first peg is gonna remain not knitted. For row one, you're going to knit. So first cover that first peg that had no loop and then you're gonna start with the next one and you're going to be using the U-wrap version of the knit stitch. All that means is that you're gonna half wrap your peg like this and then knit off. Yep, I love elevator music. When you're done, remove the knot from the anchor peg. On row two, we're gonna start working on the petals. So here's a new technique for some of you guys. Take your stitch marker and you're gonna put it on the first peg and you're gonna half wrap with your working yarn and knit off with the stitch marker itself. And now we're gonna start a chain. So you're going to knit that same peg 10 times. When you're done, take that last loop and place it on the peg to the right. Now there are two loops on that peg. The peg next to it is an empty peg. You're gonna take your stitch marker that has that first loop and place that loop on the empty peg. Go back to the loop on the right, tighten it and knit off and then take your stitch marker and place it on the next loop. You'll notice that I'm creating my petals where I have a stitch marker. And you're just gonna repeat the process again and again. And you're gonna basically be doing this E-wrap chain on every other peg. For row three, you're just gonna knit the entire row. And at this point, it's easy to see your first row of petals and now, same as you did before, you're just gonna do a full roll of the U-Wrap knit stitch. For row number four, we're going to first knit two in order to stagger the petals. So knit that first peg with your regular U-Wrap knit stitch. And then we're going to the second peg and that's where we're gonna put the stitch marker just like we did before and then start that E-wrap chain and we're gonna knit this one peg 10 times. Now you're gonna repeat the same process from row two and you're gonna see your pegs that are here and then this is your very last last peg and you're just gonna basically knit that peg off to end the row. For row five, you're just gonna knit the whole row. Row six is identical to row two in that you're gonna take your stitch marker 
and you're going to start with the very first peg. When you're done with row six, we're going into our final row and all you have to do is knit the row. Alright, let's cast off the work so that we can get the flower off the loom. Take your working yarn and wrap it around the loom a little over uh, a whole time and then cut your working yarn. And now with your hook, you're going to feed that working yarn through every loop. When you've done the last loop, then you're going to remove all of the loops from all of the pegs. All right, we're done knitting. Now put the loom to a side and we're gonna start shaping. Now you're gonna make sure that all of your petals are on the outside of your work. So with your fingers and your hook, you're gonna be pulling those to get them to the correct side and find um, your cast on yarn and go ahead and pull that to create the center of your flower Now shaping the flower can seem a little weird um, You know, it's curling a lot and you need to keep pulling that uh, string to create the center but um, as you stretch and pull it will take shape on the back side of your flower you do need to pull that cast off um, string just a little bit and this is going to take all those curls uh, off your flower so that it looks flat. Okay you are done with your flower and you can spray a little water on it, let it dry overnight, put a button or whatever you want in the center and that's it. You have your flower. Alright I'll see you next time. Let me hear your thoughts in the comment section. If you enjoyed this project, give me a like. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe.